Hello, welcome back to my channel, Psych DNP student. I'm Nurse Jax, and today I'm going to show you how to check a blood sugar. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to gather our equipment that we need to check a patient's blood sugar. We're going to be using a glucometer, in this case, the AccuCheck glucometer, a bottle of test strips, a Lancet device, and an alcohol pad. So this is how everything looks. All of our equipment for the blood sugar check. The next thing we're going to do, the machine is asking us to enter the operator's ID, but for the sake of the video, we're going to press four zeros. Push the check mark. Then the computer is going to ask us to either select patient test, control test, or review results. We're going to select patient test. It's going to ask us to type in the patient ID number. For the sake of the video, we're going to type in six zeros. Push the check mark. Now it's asking us to verify the test strip lot number, which we've done already, but you can find the test strip lot number on the bottle, the side of the bottle. You need to also check the expiration date to make sure that the test strips are still good. So we push the check mark. Now the machine is saying it's, it's time to insert the test strip inside the port. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our test strip outside of the container. And we're going to insert the test strip into the port. Once we've done that, you'll see a blood symbol appear on the screen. That means it's time to check the patient's blood sugar. You can apply actually the, the drop of blood. For this test, we're going to check my blood sugar. So I'm going to take my glove off. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to clean the site. I'm going to use the side of my finger because that's a meaty, the meaty portion of the skin. First, I'm going to wipe it with alcohol, but i got to make sure that the skin is completely dry before I stick myself because we don't want the alcohol to dilute the blood, and that's going to uh, have an impact on the results. We need accuracy, so make sure the skin is dry, and then we're going to prick the skin. We're going to milk it a little bit so that the blood comes out. Now we take our device and we apply that drop of blood to the test strip. As you can see, the machine is reading um, the results. My blood sugar is 95, which is perfectly fine. It's saying out of normal range. That's because I ate, but my blood sugar is fine. Um, normal range blood sugar for a person who's not diabetic is between 80 and 100 in the morning. I feel perfectly fine, but for a patient that's hypoglycemic, the blood sugar reading might be 60 or 70, below 80. In which case, at my facility, what we do if we have a patient who's hypoglycemic is we give the patient orange juice, orange juice if it's not contraindicated. If they don't, if, if the patient has kidney disease or some other reason why they can't have orange juice, we can give the patient fruit juice if blood sugar is low. If a patient is hypoglycemic and the patient's diabetic, some simple some symptoms of um, Hypoglycemia consists of dizziness, confusion, the patient may be shaky or nervous, the patient may even have uh, tachycardia, the heart might start racing because the blood sugar is low, the patient might be disoriented, confused. Thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel. Take care. Bye-bye.